And first at six, we have developing news out of Garden City after a hotel was evacuated due to structural concerns last night. The hotel's Facebook page says one of its engineering partners noticed potential concerns with the building. News 13, Savannah Denton joins us now live to explain these specific structural concerns. Savannah. Patsy, I spoke with the structural engineer Saul Martinez, who recommended the closure. Martinez says in light of similar issues happening along the coast of Florida, deeming shutting down the Kingfisher Inn was deemed necessary to avoid a potential disaster. Martinez says there are concerns something is happening underneath the property because of the building's age and big being right on the coast. The Kingfisher Inn was built back in 1960 with precast tiling, which typically is resistant to weather events like storm surges and flooding. Martinez says foundation's depth is only 40 feet deep, which is the main concern. Now, properties along the coast have their foundations dug at least 80 feet deep. One guest says she's happy property management, management and the owners were quick to act. I'm in construction. I've been in construction for decades, and I understand that what it takes and what's going on. So it was just really interesting. I'm like, wow, that's really great that they did that for people. And Christine West says she thought about the similar situations happening in Florida when she heard about the eviction. Codes always change for the better and for reasons like what we saw in Florida. We have to learn, unfortunately. We have to learn sometimes from big mistakes, but yes, no, they handled it completely professionally. I don't feel like we were put out at all. We were actually got, they upgraded us to a two bedroom condo, so it was really just great. And I loved the level of customer service. West says it's been a happy ending to a bad situation. The hotel's management, the engineer, and the county are meeting on Monday to discuss the next steps. Live in, in Garden City, Savannah Denton, News 13.